So hey guys, this is Dan again, and uh, this is my 210 gallon uh, with 229 display tanks with sump filtration behind the wall over here. And in this video, I'm going to be going over some uh, design changes that I'm doing to the uh, first part of my sump here, my algae scrubber and my uh, chato ball here. Um, so quick overview, drains are coming in, going through my algae scrubber. Uh, got a chato ball going there through four or two drains and two overflows into my filter socks. I think I'm going to either do a skimmer or a uh, I'm thinking about doing a moving bed filter in here and then through my sponge air trap to my pump and back to the tank. So I'm uh, going to be making a small change to my algae scrubber here um, in this video. And then I had a main drain flow problem that I rectified, so we're going to be going over that as well. Okay guys, so check this out. This is the flow problem I'm talking about. I am almost to the top of my safety. Look at that. I'm using all four of my drains with two of them are supposed to be just in case. So that does not please me. Plus, I'm only on setting three right now of my pump. Okay? So, I've got to rectify this. So, notice the 90s, bulkheads with 90s, right? So all I'm gonna do on this next is put some 45s on here and you can see the difference that makes. And this time I've got, instead of 90s, I've got two 45s on there, okay? My overflows I left in 90s, but the two main drains are 45s now. Let's watch the difference here. Again, still on setting number three. And I'm already stabilizing. So isn't that, I mean, that's the same size piping. Everything's the same, same pump. All the difference is, is 45s on that drain instead of 90s. And look at the difference. I'm not even in my overflows. Now, I'm only on setting number three. Um, I wanna run this thing full blast, so that's not good enough for me. And I'm actually gonna drill those two main drains out to inch and a half which I was trying not to do, but it is what it is. So I'm just showing you this. This is the, the bulkhead I had in there. And it wasn't a bulkhead restriction is what was the problem. That's the, the point of showing you this. It was the 90 that was the problem. So check this out, guys. When I was on setting three on my pump with those 90s, I was flowing water all the way to the top of both of my overflows. Now, I'm on setting five. I'm on my max setting with those 45s. That's the only difference. And now, my one overflow on that side, I think, is just a tiny bit lower. You can't really see it that good, but it is using just a little bit of that overflow. And just a little bit of this one. Just barely a trickle, check that out. You know, not much at all. So just those 45s are handling two higher pump settings. Same size pipe, same size everything. I So that, guys, is the most nervous I have ever been drilling glass. And they came out pretty dang good. Look at that. I jumped off on one of them right here. I don't know if you can see it right there. I jumped off just for a second. And that's why you always start at an angle to get a good... And I was started at an angle on that one, and it still kind of jumped on me. So really start at an angle and get, it a, get a decent cut in it and then straighten it out. Okay, so... I modified this a little bit instead of having both of these just 45 down here 
I brought one of my mains rays and I 45'd it twice, bit it to a 90, and put it between my second and third screen. So that should get a lot more air bubbles between these two screens, which I didn't have that much. So I'm not sure I believe this one, but I am pretty much still running into my overflows with these inch and a halfs. So it would be really interesting. I mean, this is flowing enough water now. I'm not worried about it, but I wonder what the inch and a half 45s would do. But I just don't have room for those, so uh, this is going to have to do. But I'm really surprised that those uh, one inch 45s are almost doing as good as inch and a half. So that's crazy. And then uh, I modified my algae scrubber and uh, dropped that tube in. Made it come up between my second and third. A lot better than what it was. So we'll see how that does. And the added benefit, it's actually pushing some of the air bubbles maybe and a little bit more flow. So at least my channel ball is just kind of moving a little bit. It's not rolling like I had hoped, but it is getting a little bit of movement to it. So we'll see if it starts doing a lot better. So uh, after I move that one tube, so it uh, you know pushed a little bit more water and air through that third algae scrubber, my chato ball was actually kind of moving a little bit. And then uh, I thought about it and I realized it was getting caught on that egg crate. So I just took a piece of plexiglass and uh, put it up there against my egg crate on the bottom. So that ball had something smooth to hit when it got pushed up onto it. And now uh, this thing's rolling around pretty dang good. So I'm really stoked. All right, guys. So I uh, hope you like this video. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull my algae scrubber screens up. Let's see those now. Those have been going for, this tank's been going for about two weeks. Uh, a week with fish in it. So that one's pretty good there. The middle one is getting the least amount of light, so it's not doing too much. Too much. And then this one's doing pretty good. Uh, this bulb is actually an LED. Uh, that one's just a uh, LED 100 watt. This one's a little bit more. Uh, I'm not quite sure what I'm doing for the lighting yet. Uh, that's still to come, but um, hopefully you'll learn something. I know I did with plumbing, so have a good one. Hope to see you on the next video. Subscribe. We'll see you next time.